Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the basement ba yard. Whoa. Whoa, dude. You just took over intro duties. Damn, my bad. This is your show. I didn't, I didn't, I always wanted to try it. Go ahead, do it. Go ahead, do the intro. <sighs> now, now I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. All right. All right. Don't be nervous. Just talking to your fucking mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got nervous and pulled away. I got a little nervous. Angle your mic up, you dumbass. Here it is. Here it is. There you go. I I've never been the host. You're a fidgety bitch. You know that? Welcome back to the basement yard. Me and Joe here. You always do that little pause. Yeah. <laughs> How's everything going, Joe? Everything's going good, Dan. Uh, here's why. I was, waiting, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. And here's why. That felt so weird. What? Like doing stop, an intro? Yeah, yeah. Like you do it. You do it. You want me to do another intro? Yeah, like how you do it. Welcome back to the basement yard. Yeah, yeah, but for real though. Don't give me that half ass shit. Oh, sorry, Spielberg. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. I need all of it. I want all of you. Come on. Do it more. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back to the basement yard. How's it going, Danny? See, that's that's harder than people think. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. We're not. But how, but how have you been? Good. Well, not great, actually. The telephone poles keep exploding <laughs> outside of my apartment. That's All that footage has been fantastic. Oh, yeah. The people that have seen that on my Instagram, uh, it's been super hot in New York City, and I guess the Transformers can't handle that because... There's a telephone pole re literally outside my office window, and it fucking exploded like a couple of days ago. And then like two nights ago, I was walking to the bathroom, and I thought kids were setting off fireworks in the street, and it was just one of the power lines just sparking, and it fell, and it was fucking going crazy. And I saw tore the, up the whole sidewalk. And the other thing is uh, like all fried out, whatever that's called. What is that called? The thing where the little man's there and then a hand. Oh, like the the signals for the crosswalk yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah, yeah that whole burnt. It burnt because it was all it was on fire. It was insane, dude. And you were saying that they parked all the way up here and they had to like let it just die out. Because I think they have to wait until they cut the power. If you stood under that, would you have died? Under what? Like what was falling on the ground? Because if it hit the ground, it immediately go out. Yeah, no. I mean, you wouldn't have died. Why would you die? Is it like fireworks? Like how like Goldberg used to stand in fireworks? You know? Like <laughs> yeah. would it be like that? I don't know. I never understood how he did that. Goldberg's a wrestler from when we were kids. Yeah. And he would walk out and he would so stand he in his fireworks. And then he would breathe in the smoke from them and blow it out of his nose and go. Bah! Yeah. And he beat the shit out of everybody. Yeah. And he killed everyone. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I, what? Because you can't put water on an electrical fire. No. You're supposed to put, like, foam on it. I'm serious. Who has foam laying around? Well, the firemen. Oh, I thought you meant, like, you had, like, we're supposed no, to have foam. Am I going to go in there and, like, make a sh get my shampoo and oh, yeah. make foam? <laughs> so, <laughs> fucking... Put, like, water balloons of foam at it? No, it's like, you, I, I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do is, like, shoot foam on it. Okay. Because water is a conductor. Yeah. So it would just make it fucking worse. But they stood here in the street and they were shooting, like, water at it. So they were doing the wrong thing. No, no, no. Or I was think it is. Th but that was after they like waited. Oh, but it was sparking. Well, the day before that, it was all smoking from there. Why smoking? Why did I say it like that? I don't know. Like picking a blanket. <laughs> no, but it's been all fucked up. All the things, and I didn't lose any power, which is kind of crazy. And my car was parked under the first pole oh. that fuck that like exploded. So after they fixed that, I parked my car under it. That just I don't know why. And then this started happening, and then I was freaking out. Like, every hour, I'd wake up and look out my window. I was like, is my car still there? Because I don't know if this thing's going to explode again. Yeah, that's not fun. That's not fun. No, it's not great. You know what else is not fun? What? Uh, there, was a fun there was a funny uh, story that I saw in, like, TMZ of this rapper, Young Dro. Remember Young Dro? Yes. From he had a... Shoulder Lean, I think? Yes, a Shoulder Lean. He did have a couple Let me see your belt, left and right. That was a good song. Yeah. But Young Dro uh, got arrested... For throwing banana pudding at his girlfriend or something. Good. Is throwing <laughs> banana pudding a crime? I guess it's assault with a edible weapon. <laughs> it's. Imagine is that, that assault? Yeah, of course. I think if if, if you throw anything at anyone, it's assault. It's All just right. funny that it's is banana spitting pudding. at someone is is an assault. Yes, it's 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 yeah, it's considered assault. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Because you can't just go spitting at Let me tell you, I'd rather someone throw banana pudding at me than throw their spit. Oh, banana pudding is delicious. That's probably why it was a crime. Because I was like, how dare you waste this banana pudding? Yeah. Banana pudding is great. And when they have that wafer in it. And imagine calling the police because someone threw a banana pudding at you. 
Like I don't that know. 911 call? I don't know if she like called Like it'd be the very police. strange. It'd be very strange like to be like, "Hey, um so you need to get over here right now. My boyfriend just threw banana pudding at I'm, me. I'm covered in beige goodness. And I fear for my life. Yeah. What color is banana pudding? Maybe she was allergic to banana pudding. No, no, no. Can you I, be allergic to bananas? You can be allergic to anything, I think. I don't think there's rules on that. You know what I hate when the doctor asks you if you're allergic to any medications? It's like, I don't, I don't know. You would know. You've taken medication. Yeah. But you, you hate when they ask that? But it's like, I didn't know that you could be allergic to medicine. Of course. I people you people take can't take amoxicillin. People are allergic to latex, can't use condoms. That I know. They're, that's they're like, raw dog. But that's like an actual like physical thing, I guess. So is a medicine. Yeah, I guess. The, co- the coating probably. Or, is no, what you're... Just, or whatever. Dude, amoxicillin. People can't take that. And that cures like everything. That's trash. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine having a latex allergy. Do you have allergy. any known allergies? Cats. And that's it. Yeah. And one time when I when I fucked up my leg and I went to the emergency room, the lady there was like, do you have any like allergies that I should know about? Yeah. And I was joking around. I was like, cats. Didn't laugh. Like I thought I'd get a giggle because obviously she's not asking me about those type of allergies. She's asking me, asking me about medication. Okay. But I was like, cats, nothing. Not even a giggle. No. I hate when you make jokes at like things like that and they don't laugh. Yeah, I'm like, listen, your like's not fucked up. Mine's fucked up. I'm making a joke. Laugh, sympathy, sympathy, laugh for me. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time I was in the emergency room, and uh, I hurt my my knee or my elbow, something something at the gym, and I remember I was there with Alana, and I was like, yeah, I got the old ball and chain with me. Like joking, and the doctor just like didn't laugh, and neither did Alana, and she actually got very upset. <laughs> she was like, "I can't believe you referred to me as that, as such." But um, can I? Can, I'm gonna read the statement of a uh, young Drell. Oh, he made a statement. Well, no, this is just uh, what TMZ says. Oh, all right. So uh, law enforcement tell TMZ uh, young Drell was arrested on July 5th for allegedly throwing a plate. A plate. Wait, who puts pudding on plates? That's Arrest right. that man. Yeah, that's now terrible. I see, now I see why. And also, how do you throw a plate? Like, yeah, aerodynamically, like a, like, it doesn't work. Yeah, what is this, like, you're a clown in a circus and you're throwing a pie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who puts banana pudding on plates? I would beat the shit out of a clown if he pied me at a thing. Oh, my God, dude. I would wreck that fucking clown. Do you know how quickly I could beat up a clown? Easily. Without question. First I'll, of all, your shoe's way too big. You, I'm more, like, you agile. Yeah, you can't fight dressed as a clown. It's not going to work. No way. Unless you got that water squirting, like flower pin do those do they still have that or is there like a, like an 80s thing They're like quack, quack. and the one that like shoots out water yeah oh fucking clown face bitch yeah uh we're told the two have been arguing over money but things got heated and the food started flying <laughs> with both sides both sides launching whatever delicious items they could find at each other so they got arrested for food fight nice kind of sexual a food fight yeah i'm fuck like I, i'm fuck on top of all that food after that most like, of the time you had a food fight. <sighs> like like middle school? Yeah. I didn't even do it in high school. No, nah, high school is too old no. to have a fucking food fight. Food I, fights are kind of dope. Though. But I love how there's always like a fat kid and there's like that has to yell food fight to make it official. Yeah. The there's food like, fight! Yeah, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he has to and he's got like a sandwich in his hand. Yeah, it's, ah, it's, and then it's he just not gets, official to a fat kid on another table that didn't even start it yells food fight. Yeah, he's got to climb up there real slow, though, because he's a big boy. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, he goes, yeah. food fight, and then someone just absolutely demolishes him with applesauce. Because he wants it the most, because he's yeah, getting yeah. like seven or eight lunches now. Yeah, yeah. He's just got to catch him. Right. Yeah. Which is tough to do, man, during a food fight. There's a lot of uh, condiments being thrown, a lot of ketchup. Oh, yeah. It gets of, ugly. A lot of stains. Yeah, it gets ugly. A lot of stains. Cops were called to the scene, and despite the fact his girlfriend made it clear she didn't want to press charges, they arrested him anyway. Hmm. Could be an, yeah, but it's an assault, I guess. <sighs> He's now facing two counts of misdemeanor battery and family violence. I didn't know family violence was a crime. Well, I mean, violence against your family seems like... Yeah, but I never heard that, like... Term? Yeah. You're yeah. charged with family violence? <laughs> Listen, my both parents, my parents, parents would be in <laughs> jail, son. Both my parents would be fucking a lot of family violence back then. Man. Hell yeah. Put them under the jail. Yeah. 
He's still in jail, too. According to law enforcement, because he's being held on child support contempt as well, he owes $41,000 in back child support. Needs ten needs to pay ten k to be released from custody. You can't get somebody to pay ten k to get him out of there. It's young Drell. I don't really know about, about Young Drell's financials. I just know that one song from like two thousand four. Shoulder lean. Yeah. <sighs> from yeah. from sh- leaning your shoulders, throwing pudding. Yeah. What are you gonna do? The food fights were pretty fun, like a real one. In like there? some of them would be little ones. But when they would erupt and the fat kid would would sing, yeah, that's. Well, I don't know if they sang. Uh, food fight. <laughs> it wasn't like an <laughs> <No>. opera singer. <laughs> Imagine. Food fight. <laughs> Start fucking throwing shit. He everywhere. throws one of those rectangle pizzas. <laughs> he's, he's in like a fucking perfectly like pressed tuxedo too. <laughs> he emerges like out of a hole in the floor. That'd be oh. fantastic, dude. Should I would love to have be, a food fight. Do you think you should be a like for throwing food? Yeah. I mean, if I get if I get thrown at a stranger, listen, I should be able to peg Sh- people with food in my own home. That's what I'm saying. In the privacy of your own home, you should be able to peg each other. Unless with food. there's some family violence, but if it's just a, a, a like a pudding violence, I'm okay with pudding violence. Yeah, pudding related grievance, maybe. Yeah. Like a, a warn a warning. You know, what I'm saying like, hey guys, keep it down. Getting some calls about some pudding flying around. Yeah, like if, let's, if, let's keep if it some of the pudding had, you know, gotten through the cracks in the walls and yeah. gotten into the neighbor's living room, all right, call the cops because now you're you're hurting other people's property. Yeah, but if it's staying within the confines of your kitchen and/or living room, yeah, throw that pudding. Putting it up. Yeah, I putting mean, it up. if I'm, yo, you ever get that when your eyes just twitching for no reason? What the fuck just happened to you? My eyes twitching. Do you ever have that where your eyelid just twitches? Yeah, I mean that's called a twitch. Yeah, but why is that happening? I don't know. You ask like a Greek person, they'll say like, "Oh, it means that someone's thinking of you" or some fucking <laughs> shit like that. I swear to God. They always have some tall tale. Dude, I hate when people have stuff like that. Like, you ever like go to sneeze and someone just has all these random like recipes to? Oh say, yeah. Oh, stare at the light and say watermelon. I'm like, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> Stick your tongue on the roof of your mouth. What's that one for? <laughs> Brain, Brain freeze. freeze. Dude, also, it's that. like when people are like, yo, when a bird shits on you, it's good luck. I was like, no, nah, so a, a or, bird just shit on or you. Or a bird shit on me. Yeah. That's 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 all that happened. Bird shit's so weird. What? Bird, like actual bird shit. It's weird. Like what? Like it's just the like, taste? No, no, no. It's just like how it's like white, but like also like green. And like has like a little like little nugget. It does. Have, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like an egg. It is like an egg. But it's got it, a brown. It's got a brown yolk. It's got a brown yolk. But what's all that white? I don't know. Why do they have white shit? I don't know. It's very strange. Also, doesn't dog shit just like eventually turn white? Yeah, but those are like phantom shits. You don't see those all the time. Those are rare. Those are like rare Pokemon. But I also think you used to see those shits more back in the day. Like, I feel like that was like in the 90s, dogs were shitting white, and now they're like shitting regular color. Yeah, their shit has evolved a little bit. Why is that? I don't know. I think it's the diet. And it's kind of weird that, yeah, that too. Could be. It's, it's weird that dogs shit. No, it's not. Yes, it is because you. It's weird because their shit looks like our shit. Mm-hmm. Like a pigeon shit doesn't look like our shit. Yeah. You know, a squirrel, like a deer shit. I've never seen a squirrel shit. You ever seen a deer shit? They look like little chocolate chips. Chips. You never seen a, no, a they look deer's like... poop? They're little pellets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like chocolate chips. Yeah. Oh, chit. Oh. What'd you say? Chocolate chips? Uh, when you said chocolate <laughs> chips, I was thinking like potato chips. Oh, no, 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 I was no. like, what the fuck? Chocolate chips. A deer poop yeah, looks yeah. like chocolate chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like... Yeah, why do they shit like that? That's a big animal shit fucking hard. You ever see elephants shit? Like when they shit, they like wag their tail and they spray it everywhere. I know. That doesn't seem... And why do monkeys throw their shit? I mean, they're assholes. They're monkeys. They're, a- they're wild. Do you think they just do that because they're bored? I don't know, man. I, I'd be pretty entertained if I could swing from trees and like do all that cool stuff. I also don't like. Why would I shit in my hand? But they do that. I know, but they're not worried about like getting a sore throat or something. Can monkeys get sore throats? Can, yeah, I'm can sure. they get strep? Yeah. Or is that like a human thing? I don't know. They're they're pretty much us. Yeah, but I've never. 
listen, if you shit in your hand and you're throwing it, we've seen many a monkey yeah. f- pick up shit and throw it at you. Oh, humans, yeah. You know? And you're telling me they're not going over and washing their hands with Purell. No, that, that they're taking dirty shit hands. Yeah, and then they're walking around. Like, There's poop. There's, a whole world is poop. Nested Anderson. poop. It's just a big poop. Yeah. And if you eat with those hands... How could you not get some sort of like infection here? But we probably eat with poopy hands all the time. We I probably have more poop on our hands. We live in New York City, dude. There's poop everywhere. Yeah, but I wash these mitts. Yeah, I do too. But come on, poop's gonna get there if it wants to. Yeah, but not like you know. Eventually, you shower every day. You wash your hands. Right. I get as monkeys I, I don't do, do that. Yeah, they don't do a good job of getting most poop off. Yeah, and they like eat lice off of each other's heads. What is that? I don't know. And they can like use sticks. Yeah, they use like chopsticks. Yeah, and they jerk it. Yeah, I went to the zoo one time and a monkey was beaten off. Yeah, they fucking jerk hard. Yeah, they'll sh- I, they'll shoot a rope. I was like on you. super young. They what? They'll shoot a rope on you. Oh, they can ejaculate like. Yeah, they could shoot ropes. I didn't know that. That's why you can't. You gotta be careful. You've seen a monkey. I've seen a monkey come. Yeah. Where? At the zoo. Came on you? It didn't come on me. I wish. You wish? I mean, I wish I got to see it come on somebody, not me. Oh, okay. I yeah, thought you no, were, no, thought there no. was some monkey fantasy here that you were wishing you were getting hit. No, no, no. no. You were the bullseye. No, no, no. Those days are over. Oh, there was a time in your life where that would have been something that excited you? What do you think, what animal do you think would be the best, like... We're going to skip over that, or like, we just want to make sure... Not not sexual partner. I'll, I'll come back to it, but I don't want anything to come on me. Wait, you're asking me what animal I want to fuck? Cause this no, is no, no, no. Not animal you would want to fuck. Oh, what so- animal you think is, like, the best lover? Oh, who's good at like like just, companion? Just fucking or like good like to love both? Just like a like the best companion. Like like you would want this like to be like yo like that's like that's my girl right there like she holds me down like a great companion. I don't know. I like I, I like watching otters swim together. Otters are cool. They stay yeah, like yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. They do the backstroke. And she like ho- they hold the babies yeah, and float. Yeah, that's like that's hug cool. And stuff. That'd be a good companion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they hug a lot. Yeah, I'm afraid Penguins, of horses. Maybe? Horses' dicks are just you know not cool. Yeah. Like I wouldn't want to get if I was a horse, I wouldn't want to get fucked by a horse. You know what I didn't know that all race. Ho- <laughs> I, I I had to skip over that. What? Race I, horses. What? No, no, no. I heard all race horses are men. Male horses. I don't know. That's a rich old white guy sport that I don't really know anything yeah, about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're all male or not. I don't know. I don't know if I would want to date a horse, though. Yeah, I wouldn't Because it's a like horse. if the smallest thing goes, if the smallest thing happens to you, they have to, like, kill you. Yeah, you like break your your kneecap, and they're like, "Well, just kill it, just kill it." Yeah, it's you like know? Jesus, dude. Like, I'd rather be with an animal that I know could get hurt a little bit, you know, but like still like protect me and like tear me up if he needs to. You tear know? you up, you know? Yeah, like you know, I don't want to be like. You ever see those gorillas fuck? Yeah, I would never want to. One get that's on by top, she destroys that cock, dude. Oh, they ride. Look that up right now. Wait, I thought I thought you've the- never <laughs> seen the video of the gorilla. <laughs> Fucking the shit out of the other gorilla. <laughs> Where would I see this? On the internet, dude. No, the only... Th- I thought that the whole animal kingdom was like just doggy style. Dude, these monkeys... Fuck, she's riding the shit out of this fucking gorilla cock, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. I didn't know that could happen. She got a fucking fatty on her, too. Like, she's riding that thing. Okay, we don't know how old this monkey is. Let's relax. That's true. That's true. How old can gorillas live to be? I'm going to look that up, too. Just to be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Gorillas though. having sex. I believe they were gorillas. Uh, I mean, they have to be. You can't really confuse a gorilla. It's not just going to be on YouTube. Yeah, it is. I've heard just like... Oh, my God, dude. Now I got to see her destroy it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn, dude. She is riding that dick. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this You've never seen that video? No, man. She's destroying that thing. Yo, She's this... smelling coconut. We gotta talk about that too. This gorilla is <laughs> taking it. Banging this dude. Hell yeah. God. I would come in two seconds. That... <laughs> 
if a human did that to me, not a gorilla, I'd probably come out of fear if a gorilla did that to me. I've never come out of fear in my life. You're not doing it right. What, am I getting scared bad enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. But, yeah, that, 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 uh. I've never seen that video. That is out of control. Isn't that insane? Yeah, that was the most, that was wild. She was really getting after it. <laughs> I honestly, I felt bad for the guy. That's what I'm saying. Because it looked painful. You know what I'm saying? Damn. She, she, she was she was getting hers for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, was, wasn't there like another video you wanted to show me or something before we start? Oh, Peppa Pig. Oh, Peppa Pig. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's like a famous video of Peppa Pig. Which, by the way, I don't really know anything about Peppa Pig. I don't either. It's like a cartoon, I think. Yeah. But it, it's, a, it's a pig that looks like a cock. Yeah. Like an uncircumcised soft penis. That's what Peppa Pig looks like. I can confirm. All right. I mean, a little more pink than... A little more pink than mine, for <laughs> sure. Mine's more from like a South American region. Somewhere with sun. Somewhere with a lot of sun. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is a famous video of Peppa Pig who wants to learn how to whistle. Wait, is this the right video? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. This thing is a penis. It's one minute long, so it's not. What's wrong, Pepper? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. Said cunt. Cunt. And didn't see it. Yeah. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. Can I ring Susie Sheep instead? Okay, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. Can Pepper talk to Susie, please? Show sucks. <laughs> Just fucking banged it on her. What'd you do? The fuck was that? What are you playing the soundtrack on this thing? <laughs> Wait, what the hell was that? She just bangs it on her because she gets jealous that she can whistle, so she just hangs up. <laughs> Yo, what is that show? I think kid shows where animals do human stuff is weird. But that's not an animal, dude. That's not a pig. That's a cock. Oh, did you also see what Peppa Pig's height is? Height? Yeah, so... Like three foot two? No. Well, it's not even close, actually. I don't know who made this official, but Peppa Pig's height is seven foot one. Seven foot one? Yes. What fucking pig is seven foot one? I have no idea. You ever see pigs? Yeah. They're kind of like old men ball sacks. Yeah, see Peppa Pig, height, seven foot one. Yeah, it's a little too high. That's a little too high for a pig. Way too high. But, like, how tall is a bear? Tall as shit. Because, like, if they stand upright... How... You Get off the phone! This kid's been on the phone the whole episode! I just want to see how tall a bear Fuck is. Fuck a bear's height! You liked that video of those grills having sex. You were happy you saw that. I, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know how tall a bear is. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll put my he phone He wants away. no other stuff, too. He needs all the answers. Now we're a factual show. Go ahead. How tall? How tall is a bear? Whoa! Okay, so a, a giant panda can be two to three feet tall. That's it. A polar bear could be 5.9 to 7.9 feet. A polar bear could be eight feet tall, dude. Yeah, man. They're fucking That's insane. huge. And a brown bear could be five feet tall. I thought brown bears would be taller than that. I thought so, too. But they're oh. fucking scary. I actually saw a video on uh, Twitter of this girl. Uh, she's like filming outside of her deck door or whatever. And there's a bear like coming down the driveway. It sounded like dick. No, she did not have a dick door. But she, <coughs> the bear comes onto the, the deck. Yeah. And she just has a glass. Well, it's the front door actually. And it's just like the glass door and then your regular door. Yeah. And I'm, in my head, I'm like, shut this fucking door, you idiot. But the, the bear, I was going to say the dog, the bear walks by and then there's a window open 
and but it's not it's like open this much mm. so the bear like sticks its head through and oh starts, like that weird like tongue thing they do no 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 they stick he sticks like his snout through <laughs> what was that that's kind of like what a bear sounds like right? <laughs> oh. and he like bit the blinds Ooh. and she's going Jan- margaret 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 and then the bear like moves the thing with his head and climbs into the house. Oh my god! And they had to book it out the back door, dude. If a bear is coming down the driveway, lock the fuck down. <laughs> Have you ever seen that bear eat that deer in that guy's backyard? Bear eat a deer. Yo, I can only imagine the sounds that this deer is making. Sexual or like crunching the bones? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yo, yo deers. A very weird animal. Uh, Back to their poop and the voices they make. Very ugly sounding things. They, yeah. So you the, know what I'm saying? So the bear, if people that haven't seen it, a bear. I've seen a, a deer get eaten though on like Discovery Channel. A bear is in these people's backyard that ca- it catches a deer in someone's backyard. Yeah. And it's fucking it up. <laughs> and the guy's just filming it and he's like, oh, fuck. Because like every time when it's like. Because what are you going to do? Yeah. I'm so, going to go out there and fight the bear. So you hear like it's bones crunch. Uh, and then it just goes. <laughs> and the guy filming just goes, fuck. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Break a bear up? Like, you know? Yeah, break that fight up. No, you can't, dude. You got to nah, let nature take its course. No, nah, I know. That's why I always feel bad when you're like. You always feel bad when you watch Discovery Channel. Because you're like, oh, man. These eight cheetahs are chasing this giraffe. But then the giraffe gets away, and you're like, all right, cool. But then, like, the baby cheetah dies, and you're like, fuck, man. I wish they killed that giraffe. Like, yeah. you, you're not you're never happy. At least throw a rock at it, something. Yeah. Like, scare it off. But another thing that's weird, too, I saw an alligator eat a turtle. I saw that, too. And it is insane. It literally just goes... Yeah, and just snaps the shell. That turtle was probably like, yeah, good luck with this one, you idiot. <laughs> and then just fucking crushed the shell. It's crazy because you see the alligator with the turtle in its mouth just like sitting. You see like the little turtle legs hanging out the side. Yeah. And he's like, all right, whenever I decide to eat you, I'm going to do it. And then just blood goes everywhere. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to Florida in a couple months too. Like, Stay away from the alligators. Yeah, man. The place that we're staying at has a, like a, <laughs> has a pool in the backyard, but one of those cages over it. Oh, yeah, so alligators. Because alligators just jump in your fucking Yeah, pool. probably. Dude, you know how many times... You know what? I mean, I think it's mandatory to have them I thought you were going to say how many times I feel like almost gotten eaten by an alligator. No, but think about how many times that's almost happened to people where they don't even think about it, and they just jump into their pool in the backyard, and there's a fucking alligator at the bottom? Yeah, I never thought about that. That's probably fucking... It probably happens a lot more than we think. That's yeah. probably why they, it's, it's like mandatory to have those cages. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's we're going to write you up. You don't have an alligator cage. Yeah, because these motherfuckers are out here sitting in the bottom of your pool waiting for your dumb ass to jump in with your fucking polo bathing suit. You ever see, like, a, remember when, like, frogs would get in a pool? Love frogs. And, like, you'd, like, try to catch them? Yeah. They, they're so hard to catch. Yeah. You know what I used to catch all the time? Salamanders. Yeah. They they walk <laughs> like fucking idiots, dude. I love salamanders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're cool so looking. dumb. What do they turn into? It's like a newt, tadpole, salamander. Charizard. <laughs> Butterfly. I don't fucking you know. No, but they like turn into iguana, s- chameleon. <laughs> Yo, chameleons are crazy. Yeah. Yo, How? animals are fucking sick. It's Some like, of them. It's like, yo, if I lay here long enough, I'll become it. I will be the color. <laughs> That's crazy, yo. What the fuck? Imagine if humans could do that. If I could just fade into the background. <laughs> like if you laid on your couch long enough, you just, became gray and just, blue. <laughs> just looked like the couch. That'd be insane. There's there's something that can do that. I'll That's walk. what shows me like yo, it's it, 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 things are limitless. Like nothing would, would shock me anymore. Or like there's there's a like certain octopus that can turn into the they do the same thing. They can turn into like the floor of the the ocean. Oh, I thought you were saying that because you put two hands out. You were like, yo, there's an octopus that could become like two <laughs> octopus. I was like, I think it's just two octopi. <laughs> two octopi. They have like a. Uh, Eight hearts or something too. Really? Yeah. Damn, that'd be a tough final boss in a video game. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, something with eight right, you'd have to pause the game, go get some water. <laughs> like, dude, I, I I got five <laughs> hearts in. This thing won't fucking die. But uh, it's crazy. Like we talked about that fish, that angler fish with the little thing. Yeah. I think a chameleon's a crazier animal. Come a come a come a come a come a chameleon. Can't stop the shining. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they're wild. And when they got the tongue. <laughs> 
and they grab shit. I yeah, love frogs that. doing that. That's insane. I love that. That's my favorite thing probably in the animal kingdom. And it's weird how there's a Venus flytrap. That, there's a plant that eats bugs. Wild. I think I had one in my house growing up. No. Probably not. No. But I like to think it was. You know what's weird, though? <laughs> you know what's weird? Yeah. Praying mantises. Are they poisonous? No. Because but we you're saw think, one? What you're thinking is you're not supposed to kill them. I think they're endangered. Well, this <laughs> this was like way when I was like young. Like I was like six, seven. Keith was like a bug extraordinaire, dude. Like, doesn't we, surprise me. We have pictures of me and him laying in the front yard, like in the dirt, and like playing with like worms and bugs and like just whatever. It's weird how like more courageous you are as a kid. Yeah, we just weren't. We we're like, oh, yo, it's a fucking yeah, a raccoon. I'm gonna go pet it. Like roly like, roly polies. Roly polies used to always just be like, eh, oh, roly polies. Now if I touch one, I'd be like, eh. what's that bug? That's like a you press it and it jumps in the air. What the fuck? There's a bug. That you press? Yes. Like a that, button? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But but there's a bug. That you press a cricket? No. I would love to know what you're even typing. Bug push down pop up. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bug. Someone in, will know it in the comments because people are, are They know everything. Than, yeah, they know everything. <laughs> And they have the power of Google at the time when they listen. But there's a bug that you could press down and it pops up. Yeah. Like that game of trouble? Yes. That's what it's like. Yeah. I I, always wonder how they built that. It's not hard. See? Do it. (laughs) (laughs) No, but um, like a chameleon. What was your favorite animal growing up? Uh, My favorite animal growing up was, uh, what? it was a bird. I can't remember what kind of bird it was, though. (laughs) No, 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 but it was like a like a falcon. It was like a famous falcon. A famous falcon? Yeah, I can't remember what it was, though. I can't remember the name, but I remember it was like a famous falcon, but my favorite animal now is an elephant. Michael Vick, work done? Yeah. Famous uh, falcons? Algae Crumpler? Algae, whoa. Yeah, Haven't heard that name in No years. one's going to know who Algae Crumpler is. That listens Algae to the show, Crumpler probably. is the man. Yeah, he was the man. But, uh... Yeah, I know it was some kind of a bird. It wasn't a bald eagle, but it was a falcon of some sort. We had mad shit in our house at one point. Like we had like animals. Yeah, remember I told you we had birds and Keith and had lizards and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have an iguana, but Keith had this thing. It was like a, I don't know. It, it looked like one of those lizards in fucking holes, like at uh, the end that were like all over the fucking treasure chest or whatever. A bearded dragon. Yes. Uh, it's not a. Be- it was a bearded something. A, it's a bearded dragon. A That's bearded what barley. On the bearded body. Yeah, but no, my niece my niece had a bearded dragon named Mr. Gibbons. And yeah. <laughs> who's dead now. Rest in peace, Mr. Gibbs. Oh, the dragon? Yeah, yeah, the bearded oh, dragon's yeah. dead. Uh, but we had this like pirate ship thing. I don't know if I told you this last time. We had a pirate ship uh like toy. Okay. And we would put like a bunch of army men on it, like G.I. Joe's. Okay. And then we put like the lizards on it just I'm to, digging this. Just to wreak havoc to be like, oh my God, giant lizards. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like, fight them. <laughs> <them. laughs> those those lizards had no idea what they were a part of. No, so here's what happened, right? And this is like something that happens with these things, and it was fucking scary because we all cried. But um so we had this ship and we had a bunch of army men on it, and then we put the <laughs> lizard on it. Okay. <laughs> And obviously the lizards over there, like, you know, being a lizard, like, all right, pff, knocking this guy <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But then we start, you know, we got to fight back. We're the G.I. Joe. So, we're yeah. you know, we're shooting bullets at this thing. We're not actually shooting, you know, we're shooting bullets. But we're like, we're like, oh, yo, he's going to, he's going to. And then all of a sudden, this thing detaches from its tail and its tail just starts whipping. Whoa. And it just starts whipping all the things everywhere. Oh, yeah, they shed their tails. When they get scared. Yeah. It's like a defense mechanism. Because so people try to bite that, so they release it and get out. So he released his tail, and then the tail started whipping shit all over the place. And then me and Keith are like, oh, fuck, we cut the thing in half because oh we don't God. know what's happening. Yeah, you guys probably freaked out. Dude, we were freaking. But it's uh, honestly, I'm, I'm not f- entirely sure about what are you looking at? <laughs> There's a guy outside who's dressed very... He's just dressed kind of weird. No, I don't know. He looks like the guy in the Welch's grape commercial. <laughs> he does! <laughs> you know the guy when they're standing out in the in the field of grapes and he's like, look at these Welch's grapes. He looks like that guy. 
farmer. Yeah, he does. I couldn't stop looking at him. I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's exactly what it looks like. One hundred percent corn, corn grapes. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, that's exactly what it looks like. I'm sorry, but the but the tail was wagging. You guys thought you yeah, cut so it off. Yeah, so we thought we killed it. And I, I honestly don't know if Keith was scared because he might have just known off the bat, like, oh, she's playing defense right now, you know? <laughs> but it was scary, dude. I thought I killed this fucking thing. But then it just didn't have a tail for it. I had to grow it back. That's another crazy thing, too, that reptiles could do. They could regenerate. Just grow. Th- yeah, like Wolverine. Octopus do that. You know what's weird about humans is that I thought I had to burp louder. That's why I, I don't oh, want to. I, I didn't want to burp into the mic. <laughs> it's like, what? is that how nails regenerate? Why? Because it's like hair regenerates. Yeah, like we have some regenerative facts. Like your liver can regenerate. Yeah. Yeah. Like parts of it can regenerate. It's just weird that if like we cut our finger off though, that won't regenerate. Yeah, it'll just become a nub. It just becomes a nub. Like we got some cool shit we could do. Yeah, yeah, but they have all the cool stuff. They have all the amazing things, like all their limbs. Like they'll just be like, "Oh, I lost my arm. I'll get it back in like a month." And like, how do alligators can hold their breath for so long? Yeah, forever, I think. Yeah, <laughs> or like even like polar bears, can't they hold their breath for mad long too? You're asking the wrong girl. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Keith knows all of this shit. Does he? He was super into. He's just animals. like a plethora of like unknown animal facts. Yeah, like he, all we did, like our favorite thing to watch was uh, Animal Planet, like Discovery Channel. Discovery Channel was so much better as a kid. Like every night was Planet Earth, basically. Like that yeah. show everyone watches on Netflix, like it was like that every night. Planet Earth's fantastic. Yeah. Like that's some of the greatest television I've watched, especially if you have a good TV. Yeah. You I don't feel like you're high, even if you're not. That's what I'm saying. Like you're it would like, be a great Whoa. show. I've never done this, but I can only imagine that show is incredible when you're high. Oh, when I was a kid, I used to smoke a lot of pot and watch the first fucking planet earth. Yeah. Like that was a thing like my friends would do. And I used to not smoke weed that much, but my friends would be like, yo, you have to blaze and watch planet earth. Yeah. And once you see like a fucking butterfly born, like high, Spire. it's never the same. It, it's unreal. I know. It's crazy what the animals are, yeah. are capable of. All right, here we get to these. <laughs> All right, it's crazy. With oh, these. oh, oh, but what was your favorite animal before you get into that? Growing up, I liked Clifford the Big Red Dog too a lot as a kid. Not a real animal. I'm gonna get back to you on that. <laughs> All right, the first ad we have for today is for Stamps.com. Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the U.S. Post Office right to your computer, whether you're a small office sending invoices or an online ship, uh, seller shipping out products, which is what I used to use it for when I was doing a merch business and I was shipping everything myself. I would use Stamps.com because it's just so easy. You can do it from your computer, 24-7 access to it. You don't have to go wait in lines or anything. And uh, you save time and money. Okay, because with stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail, not to mention it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters. Um, And right now, our listeners can get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in basement. That is stamps.com and enter basement. Okay, stamps.com people, if you're shipping anything. Definitely get on that and use that. Get the code. Get the code. Um, next, we have Postmates. Uh, Postmates is basically your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever kind of delivery service all year round. If you don't know Postmates, you must be living under a rock. It's a very popular thing. Um, but it's an app. You download it. Whatever you want. You're craving, like, ice cream or Ben & We almost used it the other day. We're like, yeah, we got to get some, some Ben & Jerry's in here. Oh, man. Um, oh, I got a bone the fucking pick with you, by the way. God damn it. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say, um, but no more trips to the store. <laughs> you don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates has the app. You type in what you want, and then someone brings it to you, uh, and it's just great within the hour. By the way, um, for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code Basement. That's code Basement uh, for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anytime you need anything. Whatever. Just download Postmates. Again, the code is BASEMENT. And lastly, we have 
uh, No Bull, which is a footwear, apparel, and accessory brand for people who train hard and don't believe in excuses. And don't let the simple design fool you. No Bull's gear is, gear is built to perform. I have two pairs of sneakers that I used to train with No Bull. One is like this bright red pair. Fire. Okay? And they're, they're very well made. Um, but it's got multi-environment... Uh, design built for wherever you, your workout takes you. There's trainers, runners, and there's also apparel. The The shirt that I have, very breathable. I, it does, Like, it doesn't stick to you when you sweat. I mean, I get in there and I get after it. I sweat. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You're so, a sweaty boy. I'm a sweaty boy. Um, so they have some of the most uh, comfortable apparel for the most uncomfortable training. Okay? And like I said, you know, I, well, I, I've said this previously when we did a, a Noble sponsorship, but one of the things that I think is – inspiring and motivating in a way is when you buy new stuff so you could start working out so when you decide like yo i'm, I'm gonna start working out you need to buy new stuff look good feel good train good yeah when you, get, when you get new new gear to work out in you're like all right i'm gonna go now yeah. you know start out try try no bull so for simple durable and functional training gear visit noblebullproject.com slash basement again that is noblebullproject.com slash basement um spelled n-o-b-u-l-l-p-r-o-j-e-c-t dot com slash basement all right there you go go get your training gear peeps all right proceed with yelling at me okay so me and joe hung out what was it friday night friday and night and i just just, 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 just got paid money 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 <laughs> That was a great song what on was No Strings Attached. Yeah, No Strings Attached. Yeah. No Strings Attached. Oh, my God. That music video. I know that I can't take no more. It ain't no lie. Scat, scat. <laughs> there, there was always something like there and like a like a big like power chord. But yeah. Scat, so Friday, scat. <laughs> so Friday night, we went out to dinner. We hung out, just being friends. Um, and we decided, hey, it's a really hot night. Oh, but, and was it? It was terrible. It was like 112 degrees. Felt They said it felt like outside. Yeah. Right? So we were like, oh, man, let's go and get Ben and Jerry's. We couldn't find any Ben and Jerry's. Then we were like, you know what? There's a pink berry around. Danny here. almost uh, walked, like crushed a door. He oh, yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I walked full speed into a glass door. At, he almost at Walgreens. shattered some door. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I walked right into a glass door. It was great. Uh, so we get back to my apartment. And we're like, yo, let's order some frozen yogurt. Fucking sucked, by the way. Yeah, it was really bad. It sucked. Sorry, Pinkberry, but it sucked. Yeah, which uh, I've had great experiences with them. I've had fantastic ones. But this wasn't good. It wasn't good. I think it was too hot to get it delivered because it was just fucking like mush, it kind was, of. Yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah. I ate a whole tub of fish food, by the way, the other day. We'll get into that. But um, Oh, dude. <laughs> not actual fish food. <laughs> fish, the band. <laughs> ben and Jerry's. I was like, why are you eating fish food? Are you that hungry? Like, what's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, we're hanging out. Joe, I could tell, doesn't like it because immediately he's like, I don't like it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> That's doesn't. how you could tell. Hey, I, Figured he, it out. He doesn't like it. So he leaves. I go to bed. I wake up the next day and I go into my kitchen and I'm like, oh, it kind of smells like, like old milk in here. Uh, this kid left the yogurt in its cup in my sink. No water, nothing, just left it there out overnight in my 112-degree <laughs> fucking kitchen. It smelled like an old man's asshole when I walked in there. Oh, man. Why did you do that? All right. Are you one of those people that, like, doesn't <laughs> no, throw, no. like, like empty shit? <laughs> no. This guy just walked into my kitchen, goes, I don't want this. Walked into my kitchen, just uh, left it in my sink, uh, and was yeah. like, you know what? Dan will take care of that. <laughs> no, that's not how it went. <laughs> that's that. what happened. It was a full thing. You took that's two bites happened. of yogurt. I took a few bites. It was mostly- Fucking uh, chocolate chips, soggy shit in there. Chocolate chips. What else did you put in there? Those were M&M's. M&M's. <laughs> whatever. They were gross. <laughs> Yo, it stunk. Uh, yeah. Listen, I'll be honest with you, right? <laughs> so I did that because I walked in there. I was like, I really don't want this. But I didn't know what to do with it because I didn't want to put it in your trash. Freeze it. That's that's but what I, I thought I, you did. No, but I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna eat it, and neither were you. Yeah, probably. So I was like, I didn't want to put this in your trash because the same thing would have happened. Yeah. So I yeah. don't know why. But I was like, you know what? I'm, and I'm not gonna pour it down your drain 
because I felt like where else would you put it? I don't know. It's frozen yogurt. Just run some water. I hate when you have to run water on stuff and it breaks into little pieces. Yeah. But eventually it'll but that's go the down. Thing. There was like a bunch of toppings in there, so I was like, oh, I don't want to do that because there'll be a bunch of shit in his sink. And you don't so want to clean just, the drain. So I just put the, I put it in your in your sink. But I remember when I walked away from it, I was like, I gotta get that before I leave because that's not like whatever. I'll just like let it melt and then pour it down and like hold it. Yeah. So that I don't get like the shit in your sink. Yeah, of course. And yeah. then just didn't do it. <laughs> and I forgot about it. So this I just kid didn't left do a it. fucking medium sized old hot yogurt in my fucking sink. Oh god, that is too funny. And I, I don't know why I didn't text you to begin with, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to bring this up on the show, this motherfucker. Oh, man, that is so fucking funny. Dude, we were so hot. Like, the way we were sweating was unbelievable. Yeah, that was insane. That was some of the craziest heat. That was like, see, Vegas isn't even that bad. Because I go to Vegas, and it'll be like 108 degrees, but it's not that bad because it's dry. Yeah. But when it's humid as hell, and it's 90-something on top of that, I'm just like, I don't know how, like, people, like, like... Live in Orlando. <laughs> yeah, or, like, train in that, like, that type of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, go... Like, I saw people running. I was like, what's wrong with you people? You know, like, that guy, uh, David Goggins? Yes. Yeah, that guy is insane. He's a savage. But, like, he'll, like, make, he's like, I'm out here because you're a fucking piece of shit. I'm like, all he's right, like, thanks, Dave. I'm out here because no one wants to be out here, so I'm going to be out here. Yeah. And sometimes... You got to, like, be uncomfortable with your... I'm like, whoa, that, man. That, actually, it's very good David Goggins. Thank you. <laughs> I'm that guy here. is... I'm not is, afraid of shit. So there's a post on his Instagram. He doesn't have a whole lot of posts, so you can find it, but I mean... It's he, usually him running sideways, yelling at someone. Yeah. The like, fuck you. I can do this if I want. I used to be 400 pounds. Now I'm five pounds. Yeah. It's like, yo, you're ripped up. Man. Yeah, but, like, you're it. angry all the time. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's just a mentality that takes over, and then you become a different person, which I'm never going to be that. But No way. That guy, though, he put up a post that I was like, whoa. Like, it, when you read it, it gets you amped. I've read it multiple times. Like, I have it saved on my Instagram, so I can go back and, like, read it. But he talks about Hell Week because he was a Navy SEAL. Oh, yeah, I've seen that post. <sighs> dude, he talks about – so he was a Navy SEAL, and Hell Week, for people who don't know – I believe there's like an 80% quit that, rate that, yeah, like 80% quit and the remaining 20, like not all of them make it, make it. Cause you still have to like pass a certain like yeah. thing. And, and that is just absurd. Don't and you like sit in water, like on the ocean for hours and just, and it's freezing. You lay there on the ground like this with your arms with like your, whatever yeah. your bros and the waves just come and they crash over you for hours, 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 and it's freezing. I'm good, son. Yeah, it's wild, and you and you exercise like crazy. And I, I believe during Hell Week you run, like with a log for like four days. Yeah, like but something ridiculous. It's like I think I think it's, it's I believe it's like seven or eight days, and then yeah. and then but you run like ten miles a day. Yeah. If anyone that's listening has been through Hell Week, can you please like DM us and tell us like what your Hell Week was like? And also don't. Fight me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, don't take it out on me, please. Yeah, and but he he put up this post where it was just like, because I think that was Hell Week for people who are training to be Navy SEALs or whatever, okay. so he put up the post, and he was like, your Hell Week is coming, and like, blah, 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 what are you going to do <laughs> when your body is broken? That's something he loves to say, by the way, your body is broken. I'm like, my body's all right. It's not great. It's not broken. But it's just, it's just like a, a very crazy way to think that. After putting your body through something like that, it probably feels like my entire body is broken. Dude. So it's like, what are you doing? Your body's broken and your teammates are quitting on you and you're freezing and like whatever, whatever. And he's like, I don't know what the fuck you're going to do. But what I do is I look up to the sky and I ask for it to get worse. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit, dude. That dude is a gangster. Yeah, he's, he's bent the hell on back. He was talking about running in the heat wave and he was like, I'm out here running. Guy drove by me. He looked at me. Turned around, came back, asked me a question. He goes, what the fuck are you doing out here? He goes, I'm out here because you're not out here. Yeah. And I was like, one, this story's made up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, two, that's fucking insane. Yeah, man. Some, the only reason you're running it. is because other people aren't running. Yeah, man. It's just one of those things. Sometimes that motivates people, It's man. just like, you look out, yo, there's nobody running. I'm going to go run then. Yeah. He's like, oh, this is the one day of the year that people are like, don't I do wish, it. I wish, I wish I could be that motivated. There's, but, but you. <laughs> to be like, yo, it's a hundred degrees. Nobody else is out there. I'm fucking going. I mean, yo, when you're a Navy SEAL and you're just yeah, like a you're, you're already a sad. You also, yeah. that's your entire mentality. Like anyway, like 
oh, there's a giant war going on and like shit going on. I want to go. Yeah, no one wants to go. I'm going. Yeah. And then you just handle your biz, man. Fucking heroes. People are crazy. They're just like that's something. That's something wild, man. But that dude, uh, I think he ran a race once that was 100 miles. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. That guy's insane. Yeah, I, See, like, I, I believe fit- that was what, that was him. He ran a race that was like 100 miles. I also heard that because we were talking about like the marathon and like whatever with my with my family and whatnot. And are you still gonna run it? I. Yeah, you are going to die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but there's there's these two. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna dress up in a costume. My brother, my brother's best man is like a very big runner. He's ran the marathon and his, white gentleman. His wife, <laughs> yeah. his, his <laughs> wife was great. His wife also is a runner, and she's like they're both a part of like the Nike running team or whatever. Right, white right. lady, great people. Uh, no, she's uh, actually Hispanic. I think. I think. I think. Um, but they were telling me stories about how there's people or there's this guy that they know that ran a marathon. And turned around and ran it again. Holy fuck. In one shot. See, how is that humanly possible? Dude, that's 52 miles. <laughs> that guy should win the marathon. That guy should not have to pay for stuff. Yeah. I'm glad we get to watch you. And what about the guy that runs the New York City Marathon every year barefoot? I saw that man. Oh, there's multiple people that do it. Dude, what you is gotta that? see the, You got to see the characters that run this thing. They run right by my apartment. Yeah, when I lived in Long Island City, my well, that was the year my brother was running it, so we went out, and it was actually raining that day. And we went out, I remember. we were standing on the side, and there was a guy dressed in, like, he looked like a monk. And he was barefoot, he's running. I'm like, dude, you're not worried about staff or no, something. I, also C-diff. running New York City. <laughs> <laughs> New York City fucking streets, disgusting. Gross, dude. Running up First Avenue, I've peed in those streets. Peed? Yeah, you never peed in the street? I've pooped in those streets, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have not pooped. The other thing about... Um, Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I was driving on the highway the other day, yeah. and this, <laughs> and I was driving by, and this car pulled over. Like, I could see it. It was like 100 yards away. Pulled over. Door open, shitting. <laughs> Door open. No, not shitting. But a little kid came out, and he was like... But he was like not that little. Yeah. Like, he was like eight, so it felt weird that I could see it. And he just walked out, and he already had his pants off, and just walks out to the grass, and is just peeing, not touching anything. You saw his dick? I didn't see his dick, because oh, right. he's, he's like a little guy, but... When I was in Sweden, uh, we went to, like, this place... No, no, when I was in Spain, we went to, like, this little, like, beach place, and uh, it was like a, like a saltwater pool, which is awesome. Yeah. They're, I was just in one this past week. They're weekend. fantastic. Love it. So, I'm talking to somebody... Who's sitting like they have like beds, you know, like it's like rehab, like in Vegas, how they have like yeah, beds yeah. and cabanas or whatever. So I'm talking to this guy for like a while, like a couple minutes, and then like I notice he has no lining in his shorts. You're seeing this penis, fucking dick and balls, just having this whole conversation. And me, it's like I don't want to stop the conversation abruptly. But I got to get this cock out of my line of vision. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like. Wait, were you laying down and he was standing up? I was like this on the pool and he was above me. Damn, you were like about to yeah, about service to, him. Yeah, dude. Like if it was any, like if he, yes. <laughs> he could have taken anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you wanted. So I was like, oh my God, this guy's cock is really close to me. Like I got to get out of here. So I literally. <laughs> I push off the side and then just go into a back float. And I'm, so I could get get out from under his dick. And you were floating. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an amazing floater. But <laughs> in saltwater pools, you're going to float easier because of the salt. So I was just like, yeah, yeah. And just like went into a float. So I didn't have to stare. So you could escape this penis. Cock anymore. Yeah. Damn. Dude, I sink very easily. I can teach you how to float. I can't. Yo, all... The Spanish and, and tourists there, when they saw me floating, the whole pool was watching me float. Because you're that good? Because I was that good. You know who's an amazing floater also? My mom. Is she? Yeah, she... I My mom, <laughs> in a five-foot pool, can't touch the floor. Oh, no, neither can I. Because she's like, I just can't get down there. No. I'll just rise. I'm amazing at floating. So many people came up to me. Ask Mika. So many people came up to me and were like, how do you do that? <laughs> 
What are you just like? Your body's not even submerged. Just like no, it, like I'm like you know like how half a submarine is out. <laughs> That's what it looked like, and I can do it with my hands like this, and my legs crossed. That's insane. Yeah. So yo, I'm telling you this. Like ten fucking people from other countries are coming up to me and asking me to teach them how to float. How you do float? Yeah, yeah. How do you, how do you do that? How are you doing that? People were going like this under me. They thought I was like fucking David Blaine. <laughs> Ask Mika. It was insane. So I taught all these people how to do that. So how do you do it? Can't tell you. The fuck. No, you want told go- a bunch of Swedish strangers. <laughs> <laughs> what the trick is when you float. Is pretend like your belly button is attached to the sky. So what happens is you act like you're getting pulled up. Like, you know how um how Mary Jane dies in that Spider Man movie? <laughs> you know yeah. whack, like yeah, she goes yeah. like that, but her body is like stuck to the web. Okay. That's what you have to imagine, like like you're a puppet and, and you're bringing your belly button up to the sky. That's it? Yeah, that's all you gotta do. I don't know. And lean your head all the way back. A lot of people put their head like this. It's like, look how they're floating. Just lean your head back. So all I have to do is push my belly up? Yeah. Push your belly up and you're good. You can do hands out to your side first and then I'll show you how to do that. I can't do it, man. Yo, I floated for like 35 minutes. Easily. I could float for hours in a pool. So you theoretically don't need a, like a raft? No. I would freeze to death before anything. <laughs> I'm feel, telling you, dude. I'm not, I would I'm, die of starvation. I'm, I'm that good in water. I, uh, I got to see you in your element. Yo, Mika couldn't believe. I go, yo, I know I could do the butterfly stroke. Like, well. And Mika's like, okay. And Marcus is like, all right. And his brother Monir is just like, yeah, whatever, dude. So we get to the pool. And Mika's like, show us. Fucking just start. Whack. <laughs> Michael Phelps. Whopping. And he's like, holy shit. I'm like, yo, I told you, dog. That's a I'm, big Spanish that's butterfly. That's a big Spanish butterfly. <laughs> So I was like, yeah. And then I just, he was like, oh, shit. He's like, all right. I thought, Very good. I thought you were full of shit. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were full of shit. <laughs> Mark is like, holy shit, man. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit. Very good. <laughs> and they were like, yo, that's fucking impressive. I was like, yeah, man. This fucking fat ass belly fool. You. I can move. Boy can float out I here. I can float dude. and I can move. Um, float like a butterfly. Oh, I'm not stinging much these days. <laughs> <laughs> but what 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 was your favorite animal? Oh, uh, I liked penguins. Yeah, penguins are great. I like great penguins. great childhood animal. I liked monkeys. Monkeys are cool too because they hug you. Yeah, I'm all about hugs. If you could describe yourself as an animal, oh, I'm a monkey. You're a monkey. Yeah, man. I kind of consider myself like a Zen bear, like a Zen panda, like a very calm. In the wild Like a sloth Like a sloth Like mentality But like The shape of a panda (laughs) Remember we watched that video Of that panda eating bamboo One of my favorite videos Of all time That's a satisfying video Just When you really Like we know pandas exist Of course They're not real though But if you really look at them You're like this isn't an animal. I know. Like, there's a person in there. And you know what's weird on, especially pandas, because their eyes, if they're white, they look weird. Like, if where the, where it's black. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you look at a bulldog, right? You know how, like, one eye will be, like, the white side and the other side will be, like, the brown side? Yeah, yeah. The white side's kind of creepy. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. why pandas are cute, because, like, you don't know where their eyes are, kind of. They look like, a, the, like the killer whales of, like, the land. Kind of. You know? But they're like so soft and cold. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like I have the I think attitude. they're dangerous motherfuckers too. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I have like the attitude of a sloth in the shape of a panda. Nice. What do pandas like do? Just chill hard and like try to like not be extinct. And they just eat bamboo. How yeah. can a a fucking Like bear? a person though, they're like Crash. Yeah, they eat it like a fucking stick of celery. They bite the sh- the like the shield off of it, the skin. Yeah. And then eat it. Yeah. Like a fucking carrot. It's, it's awesome. Dude, animals are like are just Yeah. What kind of animal would you think I am? I w- I would say like sloth. Like a slothy guy. Yeah, like a big sloth. Yeah. Cuz you're just like 
You know, sloths, they just don't really. Yeah, like, I'll get there eventually. Like, how can that animal not gain some speed over the years and, like. They don't need it. They're just hanging. Yeah, but, like, no one's going after sloths. I would say, I'm trying to think what you would be. Don't they have, like, big ass nails, too? Like. Yeah, they do. Big long ones. But so they have, that's has to be. I'm kind of getting a beaver vibe from you. I'm a beaver? Yeah. A beaver? Yeah, a busy beaver. A busy beaver? Yeah. I'm, kinda, I'm a busy beaver? Yeah. I'm getting a beavery vibe. How, why am I giving you a beaver vibe? He's. Uh, I don't know. There's something beavery about you. Is it my teeth? No, it's not your teeth. Is it my. You don't have beaver, beavery You're saying I got a long, flat ass? That you do kind of have a flat ass. Not a long ass. No, 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 no. Is there such thing as a long ass? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. I got to see a long ass. I got a couple aunts and uncles. They got fucking... Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I know what a long ass is for yeah, sure. Man. Yeah, like some, old something white about person. you like beavery. I'm not a beaver, man. No, nah, because like you could build... Like you could do stuff like like uh, beavers build things. I feel like you could build stuff like... I feel like you have like a good like oil, like something in your glands is like expensive, like beaver oil. Is beaver oil ex- is a thing? I think so. Like they're beaver glands. I don't know if that's. Yeah. Where did you buy that? They sell us at like Dick's Sporting Goods or something. Yeah, they sell they sell like beaver oil. You're a beaver. I'm not a beaver. I'd say I'm a monkey. I don't think you're a monkey because monkeys are reckless. No, they're like lovable. Yeah, but they're like wreck. I don't know. Beavers, I feel like, are smarter than monkeys. No. They build dams. They that's just dope. pile shit. That's cool. They just That is cool, man. But they just pile stuff and it becomes Are a you dam. gonna tell me that a fucking I don't know what they call a group of beavers. A band of beavers? Alright. Are you gonna tell me that a band of beavers building a dam isn't cool? It's not tell, that tell me cool. that's not cool. It's not that cool. You're nuts. They didn't, they don't build like concrete dams that's no, holding up the whole there. river. A beaver in a hard hat would be so cute. But like, I'm not. They're not build it, but they do them naturally yeah, in just, nature, dog. So they can fucking live. Yeah, but that, well, how's that different than a than a bird creating a nest on the top of a tree, and then fights <laughs> off other birds on top of a tree? Seriously, the water element. Birds don't got to worry about water and, and drowning and shit. Beavers do. A beaver could drown. You could drown a beaver. Yeah, but they're good swimmers. Yes, yes. And their tail is made for swimming. What are you looking for? What's a platypus? It's a beaver. <laughs> is a platypus a beaver? It's it's a be- in the beaver family. Okay. All right. No, there was something I wanted to show you on Twitter. I'm not. I'm off the phone. This is something we were going to talk about. Always blaming me. Guys, Linger. now you now you've 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 been you've been seeing it. He's trying to make me out to be something that I'm not. All right, this is something. Oh, other thing I want to talk about: Jadakiss, the rapper. Mm-hmm. Okay, ordered a pizza, right? This is news. Just crust. He ordered just the crust of a pizza. You want to see the picture of it? Can you even? What do you? That's what he ordered. Just the crust? Yes. He ordered just the crust of a pizza. Why? Because he doesn't eat dairy. But wouldn't you just take the cheese off of a pizza? Yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. He ordered just the crust pizza. That is so dumb. Yeah. Why don't you just get breadsticks? I don't know. They literally had to take a pizza (laughs) that they cooked and just... Cut it out. <laughs> yeah, and, throw and then it the out. employees probably ate it. Yep, probably. Did you ever work in a pizzeria? Yes, I did. Did you crush pizza? One hundred percent. Every probably, fucking it's pro- day. It's I probably twenty percent of why I'm built the way I am right now. <laughs> I, I just never lost that fucking weight. What, what slice would you get? I would get the same thing every single day. Uh, chicken bacon ranch slice. Barbecue chicken slice. Bar or or yeah or the buff- grossest slices. Buffalo chicken would always fucking get me too. Well, I don't know if we had a buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken was good. We had a barbecue chicken slice that was <clears throat> phenomenal, and then I would get like a fountain. 
uh, Nest tea. Oh, fountain. Yo, for some reason, fountain soda is just so much better than like soda. It's like bubbly. Yeah. And there's some like, it's like a little watered down, I feel. Yeah, but I hate when you drink water from a fountain because you taste all the soda too, though. It's I like, don't really feel that way. Yeah, I feel that way all the time. <clears throat> I don't really feel that way. Um, So this, I don't know what they do. Somebody, so, oh, who is this? Somebody on Twitter, their name is Bijan Steven. He, uh, tweeted out i'm curious what's the dumbest idea you have that you nevertheless believe will be if implemented make the world a better place did you read that correctly i, that I did didn't make i sense. did it's a very confusing tweet can i see i'm gonna read it again i'm curious <laughs> what's the dumbest idea you have that you nevertheless believe will comma if implemented comma make the world a better place okay so some of them I'm going to read some of them off and see if you would like... It like went ideas. viral? Yeah. Okay. What will make the world a better place? Go ahead. Yeah. But th- but you got to also remember that they're ridiculous. Like, they're not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Crazy ideas that will make the world a better place. Go. Okay. If you come to a complete stop at the bottom of an on-ramp, you immediately lose your driver's license. I like that one. I mean, that's a little heavy. But I hate when people stop, dude. I mean, you got you to gotta, gotta cruise out you, there. You got to just slow down and be like... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, go, yeah. yeah, I understand. Losing licenses is heavy. Yeah. I do hate that feeling, though, of like, yo, is this guy going to let me in or not? You ever have to fucking floor it at the bottom? Like, Every time. Just like, this guy's not going to let me in. All right. So that one's not bad. Your car horn is just as loud inside your car as it is outside. That's amazing. That's, that's a, a really good one. That's a great one. I like that one a lot. Because if you're going to use that horn, you should be able to get Take some it. of that, too. Yeah. I like that. I rarely use my car horn. I don't really beep my car like that. People beep. People love beeping. These people should be shot. I love the hood beep. The hood beep? Like if you would drive by people you know, like when you first got your license. And you, you give like, it this? Yeah. The, yeah, that's fine. The little boop boop. Yeah, it's the, fine. The hood like, beeps are the best. If someone in front of you, if the light turns green and maybe they're looking at someone or they're talking to someone, to give them a, ah. It's weird that beeps have different like languages. It's like Mandarin, how you yeah. can say things like if they... If you project them a di- certain way, they yeah. mean different things. Yeah, like a little, eh, this is me being polite. Like, hey, man, keep going. I'm not upset or anything, but, you know, turn your fucking head, drive your car. If I'm in front of you and you give me a, huh, I'll give you one of these out the window. Thanks. My bad. Thank you. Yeah. If you give me one of these, huh, I'm like, all right, relax. Yeah, and then the, huh, I'm, I'm like, like I'm going to fucking. It just turned fucking green. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that, Dude, that I, gets the one. Of when I drove to your house the other night and I was driving home, it was fucking midnight and there was traffic. It took me an hour to get home. It took me 20 minutes to get there. Dude, people were holding their horns. And for what? I was like, shoot them. Yeah. Shoot them. There's nothing worse than, than people that do that. The horn should cost money. See, that's a good one to add. If you if you're going to press your horn, Depending on how long you hold it, it should cost money. Yeah, you should get a monthly bill. It's like, ro- like it's like roaming charges. Like Easy Pass, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that. whatever. Because if you go, eh, what is it? Uh, two cents. You're never gonna know. But yeah. eh, your fucking thing's rolling. It's kid. gonna add up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, keep that meter running. Um, you should be able to email or DM your doctor when you have a quick question. I like that. I love that. Like you know, because every once in a while, it's like, hey, listen, I'm I- cool. But, but I have like a 101. Should I stay home from work? You think? Oh, I wasn't. Even, what am I gonna ask him about a fucking fever? What are you gonna ask him about? I'd be like, yo, I got this thing on my shit. Like, like send him a picture of my cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, look at my dick. <laughs> Why would like, I immediately go STD? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool though if your doctor just hit you back like, Voop. it's cool. Yeah, it's like, nah, you're good, dog. <laughs> yeah. All right, peace. You send him like a fucking like hands emoji. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, thank God. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, if you don't use, why well, a lot of these are car based? I got a lot of people are, are driving. I think they're like inspired by the ones before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you don't use a turn signal, your car doesn't turn. See, I like that. I like it. And That's I don't safe. Like it. That's safe though. That would make the world a better place. It would. I'll, I'll be because honest with think you. Think about how many accidents happen from people cutting people off. Yeah, but I also think that someone could like still cut you off if they just threw the thing on and turned right away mm. you know what i mean but i also i i i gotta be honest i'm not i don't use my 
my signal all the time. Like if no one's around, if no one's behind me, I don't feel the need to use my signal. And how do I you... don't have to warn anybody. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I but get if that. I'm on the highway, anytime I'm on the highway and I'm changing lanes, I'm using my signal, obviously. If there's someone behind me, I'm using my signal. But if there's no one behind me, I'm not gonna use it. Yeah. You ever been on the highway when there's no one behind you and be like, Where is everyone? Yeah, sometimes when I right? drive, when I drive to Connecticut and do it up there. There's like one light per quarter mile. So right. I'm like, it's fucking black back there. Dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're just There could dry. be something chasing me. That's what I'm know. saying. I hate that feeling. I'm yeah. like, yo, why is there no one behind me? Yeah, Where did, am I going? Did everyone die? That's what it feels like. Am I going the right way? That's what it looks That's Yo, it's so true. Uh, someone says Twitter accounts should cost $5. You could have that. Why? Why? Do you what think, is that going to do? Do you think Twitter should be free? I don't know. Instagram. How much would you pay for it? Monthly? Yeah. Five bucks. No, you wouldn't. Probably not. You'd pay a lot more. No, because here's the thing. If it meant, like, do I have the same followers that I have now? Yeah. Yeah, I would pay a little more, for sure. But if I if I was, like, a nobody, that sounded really bad. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Remember when Danny gave me shit? He was like, "Oh, yo, you think you're like better than people?" You just I never that said up? that. You said something along those lines. No, you're making that you up. Bastard. What I'm saying is, if I didn't have like a following, a following, <laughs> father wing, father wing. Yeah, I was, I was a I was, father wing. I have a piece of my beard in my mouth. Yeah, okay. I've, I've been trying to get. So it. if you didn't have a following, yes, I would. I wouldn't pay that much to use it. You think five dollars is a lot? I mean, on top of other things, like if I'm I'm factoring all of my pay services that I have, what's the most you would pay? Would you pay hundred dollars a month right now with your following? You would have to, without question. That would be the easiest money I ever spent. You have no followers. Yes. You would still pay hundred dollars a month if I'm in this industry that I am now. One hundred percent, it's worth it. Okay. Because it's the sense. most prevalent platform, so it's like if that's the one, people pay a hundred dollars for fucking LinkedIn shit. You know what? I didn't think about that. Yeah, like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or it's like 80 something dollars a month for whatever that is on LinkedIn. People pay like $20 for like YouTube premium. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yo, for Instagram, yeah. just because it's free, but it's like you got, this is the one thing. Everyone has. Like, uh, honestly, if it was $50, like everyone would do it. Do you think Instagram's ever going to go anywhere? Like, is, oh. is Instagram like the be all end all? Is it like the Google of social media? Like, it's hard to say. Like, do you think there'll be something that surpasses Instagram? Like the next yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Of course. Damn, I want to meet that kid. Well, dude, think about just that thing. Think think about Facebook. Yeah. That was and is still the biggest one, but like Instagram's the most popular one. Would you say that like Twitter faded? Is like a subsidiary of of Facebook. They all are. They, they all, all are, are, right? Yeah. To, dude, think about it like this. So like, like Facebook is the is the mount. Well, this is how this is how entrepreneurs think, right? So entrepreneurs they see Facebook yeah. and they go, "Okay, here's a great product. Uh, everyone's on it, like whatever." But and and what's the but what are the best parts of it, right? So there's the status update. There's the Twitter, yeah. The yeah, which is Twitter. Yeah. And then there was like, and and that's all it was at first. People would be sharing statuses, people liking and commenting. So it's like, all right, we can create an entire social media platform mm. off off of that, and that's Twitter, you know. And I'm not saying this is exactly what happened, but I'm just saying this is like the entrepreneurial mind of how people think. And this is not something that I'm creating. This is something that I've like read about. Yeah, please don't do it on air. Let's let's make this. No, but I, <laughs> no, I'm just saying this is how people think. It's like when you see Facebook as being such a massive thing, right? You're like, okay, what are the best parts of this? And you break it up into, into parts. And the first thing that was super popular was all the statuses, right? Which was co sort of like what MySpace was, but for, Facebook did a better job of like kind of packaging it. Yeah. And they said, okay, so the statuses with comments and whatever – are is one part of facebook but it also has pictures it also has uh well it didn't have video back then your but it wall has like this and that yeah your wall so they took the statuses that one point and that's twitter right so it's just that yeah. so if you just wanted that like this is twitter and then they had celebrities on it i remember like soldier boy was one of the first people yeah. that were like really on it so you could like contact celebrities like immediately so it was just you know one of those things and then and then facebook eventually became pictures of like here's Family. the pictures of this or like photo albums and yeah. they 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 started rolling out all these things of that and then they did uh video where you can leave videos on people's walls right. and whatnot and then they took just that and they put it and that's instagram you know what i'm saying like stripped it down simpler so is better yeah exactly so it's it's when you think of like dumb inventions 
of things where it's like, oh, this exists, but this is like a, you know, like a post-it, dude. You could say even maybe dating apps came from that, from Facebook, because it was like relationship, without question, like yeah. relationship status. Now it's like you don't have to worry if somebody's single now. Now you can everyone's just, single. <laughs> everyone's single on. Here. Yeah, and you can just find people. And when you think about it, like the the thing that um, Zuckerberg did in his like dorm room, whatever the face smash thing, is kind of like uh, the same thing as Tinder. Yeah. You no. know, it's like you have to you have people who's hot, who's not. That's basically all it was. Yeah, it's true. But it's crazy how like all these things kind of derived from Facebook. Yeah, I never really thought about it until like right now. Yeah, because it's all just. It's like, also because I learned the word subsidiary like three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> but that it's just crazy because so, so with Instagram, you know, there's no telling to what you know it'll be like with Vine. It was like the six second thing, and like that was cool, and like the reposting or like whatever. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. it didn't last though. I think it was though. I think it was still doing well. It's just they made some some bad moves. That yeah. that app could still be around, in my opinion. It's coming back. They've been hearing that for a while. Apparently, but it's called Byte. I do think that any any social media platform has the potential to be overtaken. I think it will be overtaken because people's their thing like changes. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but what I I'm just saying? feel like Instagram is like like the one and it's attached to facebook now so it's like well yeah facebook bought them so if, as long as facebook's gonna be around instagram's gonna be around facebook will always be around that's what i'm saying because they just buy everything old people love fucking facebook too. yeah old people kind of ruined facebook for me to be honest my they were always there no not that not like that because remember it was like it was a social network for like your college yeah you know like it started with kids and then now it's like old people like either talk about like trump or like their grandparents it's like very their political yeah. yeah it's like a very <laughs> political place now so it's like fucking wild and crazy um one more that i wanted to ask you about these things that would change every job gets an oscar type award show including the likes of plumbers teachers i lost the tweet well whatever uh, whatever i like that that's funny i think it'd be cool do teachers have stuff like that I think certain still the Dundies. Remember that? Yeah, no, but it would be like on CBS. <laughs> I don't know if anyone like Rick, would watch like Ricky that. Gervais would like work like the teacher's ball or something, and it would be like oh, teacher of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of fire. And they would like show clips of you teaching, like how they show like <laughs> little mini clips of the fucking Oscars. It's all dramatic with like music behind it. And then another one for the ladies is that all dresses uh have to come with pockets i didn't know that girls wanted pockets on their dress i thought they enjoyed the the, uh, the clutch. clutch yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. or just like a nice little handbag that's so. what i thought i didn't know that they like they like pockets. pockets cut a pocket into that yeah, shit fuck bro. it can't be that hard to make a fucking pocket yeah how hard is it to make a pocket come on it's probably a little difficult though. yeah 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 actually not really you just so cut a hole and sew it i can make a pocket it won't be the best pocket but no. it'll be a pocket you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure your pocket making skills are fantastic. <laughs> are fantastic. Which one would you do? Would you if you had to create one? Oh, um, well, put me on the spot here. Um, oh, I got it. If you open a door for or hold a door for someone, right? If they don't say thank you, they're not allowed access into the building. <laughs> This I'll sounds like, like a personal vendetta. No, nah, it's just like if I hold the door for you and you know I held that door for you because you're walking through it, you got to say thank you. If not, because usually when you hold the door, it's to get to the other door. There's a lot of double doors for some reason. Not always. But there are in cases that there are even single doors. Can I ask you a question? <clears throat> yeah. Say thank you. In a, in a double door situation. Right. Right. One thank you suffices. I was going to say, is this a double thank you? Yes. A one a one thank you will suffice. Cause First door, second door. Sometimes they hold the door for me. We both get one thank you out of it. I hold the first one. You hold the second. Oh, that's an even exchange. Yeah. But if I hold two, one thank you is good enough. Because now we're kind of friends towards the second door. Now it's kind of like you have a good one. So what about this, right? Yeah. Hit me. We're walking into the same building. Right. There's a door. Then there's like a little like whatever room. All right. You got another door. You mean like a little like lobby like yeah. hanging between the things. Right. right okay. Right. Where you're waiting for your table. Right. 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 So you open the door. I, you open the door for me. You mm. hold it. Okay. I go. Thank you. Okay. I walk up to the next door. Mm. 
is it fucked up if I do the open and hold it open as I walk through for you? No. As long as your hand reaches back and touches the middle of that glass, we're good. Are you going to thank me? Yeah. Now, what if I double did that? Like, what if I opened, held, you said thank you, and then I opened and held again? 100% acceptable. Now, should I be expecting a double thanks? No. No, 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 no. Like, that could be like a quiet thanks. Like, I'm cool with that. You're making the conscious effort to hold the door for me. Let me ask you another question. All right. You just want me to say no to something. I'm opening up the first door. I go through. I hold it down like this. Yes. I'm, mat- I'm a matador. There's no, there's no thank you. No thank you. But there's another door. I, but I, I'm, you're, you're saying that I've said thank you, though. No. Okay. You know what? I'll put you there. You, you, you hold the door. Right. But as you walk through. Right. I don't say anything. Then we get to the next door. You do the same thing. And then I say thank you. Works. Yeah? Yeah, because you addressed me at the end. But I think you'd have a problem by no, the but, time you got to the second door. If like this piece of shit, maybe I'm not holding the door for him. Have you ever held the door and someone just walks in and you just go, you're welcome? I told you I did that one time. I won't do that again. Cause I'll I, do, just, I do it all the time. Nah, I don't like that. I do it. I, d- I actually held the door for some woman uh, who had like a child with her. And she didn't say a goddamn word to me. Yeah, well, she's a fucking and it was, piece of shit. And I did like the whole like, I see you coming. I open the door. And stop and wait for you. Yeah, the real gentleman move. Yeah, I've, I was I was working that day, basically. Yeah, I would have been like, fuck you. In my mind. <laughs> and that baby. Fuck you. Grab the kid. Fuck you. Yeah, listen. Have some common fucking decency. That's all I ask from people. Yeah. You know? Hold the door for somebody. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. I guess so. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, telling somebody fuck you is a so good feeling. Have you, When's the last time you told somebody just fuck you? I don't know. Was that you know you haven't like gotten into like any like like uh like arguments? Yeah, like just like every time every once in a while with a stranger like driving or like um no, I I I honestly only have gone into one bad thing while driving. Keith was there actually. But this guy, it was like I was driving on a street, it was two lanes and he got really fucking close to me. Right. And there was no reason for him to be that close. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, dude. So I was like, yo. Oh, you gave him this one? Yeah, because at this that is, point, this is the go-to. I, what this means? What are you doing? Because I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Because and then he started yelling at me, like I did something wrong. Could you hear him, or was he screaming at you through glass like a fucking madman? So he lowered his window, and he was screaming. My windows were up. So I That's rolled smart the, by you. So I rolled them bitches down. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. Because because now I'm like, yo, you almost hit me. Like yeah, I'm just suck, driving yeah, in my fuck lane. You. And he got mad that I guess I complained or something. So he started throwing, he started hurling some threats through the glass. So I was oh. like, you know what? We're going to get rid of this fucking barrier between us. Right. So I lower the fucking windows, mine and Keith's. And he's on Keith's side. And I forgot what I said to him, but he was, he was like, uh, I don't know if he said something about pull over to right. me, right? So I was screaming like, I'll fucking pull over right now and kick the shit. Like I was screaming at yeah, him, yeah, like yeah. basically like, yo, just then pull your car. Like I'll fucking kill you. Yeah. Like I was so fucking mad at that point. And that was the only time, but the guy just like drove off. But All I was, right. but I, I've never, I don't really do that. My sister, maniac. She'll tell people to fuck off. Dude, <laughs> if Shannon is in the wrong, she's the best. If she's in the wrong, right? Yeah. And she's stuck in an intersection now, and she's surrounded by two monster trucks filled with bodybuilding men, <laughs> she will lean out of her window and go, You guys are fucking assholes. Yeah. You idiots. She got balls. She's crazy. Yeah. I was like, Shannon, one day someone's going to step out of their car and fuck you up. <laughs> and they're going to be in the right. <laughs> like, you're crazy, dude. I do that. The last time I did that was I was getting outside. Uh, I was getting out of an Uber in front of my apartment building. And the guy just stopped. And someone just starts banging on it. Burr, burr, on their horn. On their horn. The guy behind him. Yeah. Yo, I get out. I go, yo, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm getting out of the car. <laughs> And the guy's looking at me, and like he, I thought he was getting ready to come out of his car. So I took one step, like towards the front of the car, like I'll get busy right here, in front of this fucking shit. As soon as he saw that, I think he kind of like scurried off a little bit, like he didn't think I was gonna be serious. But I thought he was coming at me, but apparently he was just like getting out of the way. But I was ready to pop off. Telling somebody to shut the fuck up is a great feeling. 
Dude, there was actually one time. I don't like know. a ju- it's, if it's a just shut the fuck up. Yeah, it, there was one time that uh, I was driving. I got to tell you a great story too. We keep going. I, I don't know if I've told this story before. I might have, but I was driving and I was in. I was behind a cab, and it was driving so slow. Like you ever be <laughs> driving behind someone? You're like, oh, they're obviously looking for a spot. Yeah. And it, or they're old as shit. And you're just like, oh my god, dude, like just go. You know. So this cab is driving very slow. And I'm just losing it. And I'm losing it. And I'm like trying to hold it together because I, I don't like blowing up like that. No. But then I started to get really fucking angry like in my car. Like I'm not going <laughs> to yell at the guy but because I know I'm like unnecessarily angry right now. Right. But I'm like, why is this guy driving so slow? And then he stops the car completely in the middle of the street. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Then he gets out of his car to let the people out. I'm like, what is this guy doing? Opens the door for the for the person. I'm like, yo, who the fuck? Because yeah. now he's blocking the other lane. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, what is this guy doing? Was he like an Uber driver or something? Out of the back seat comes two kids and a pregnant woman. Oh, God. And I was like, I am such a piece of shit. Yeah, you're like fucking fucking. I was like, oh, there. God. <laughs> So I was like flipping out. I was like, yo, what is this guy doing? And he's like, dude, I'm doing the right thing is what I'm fucking doing. So me and my mom went shopping one time. It was probably, I was probably like 12 or 13 years old. We went shopping. Uh, my mom was like a layaway queen. Like she was fantastic at layaway. Yeah. Like I had so many bikes, like three quarters of the way paid off. Like it's amazing. <laughs> but like, so we parked one time and my mom went to the park, went to go park, and somebody zoomed in, took the spot, and it was like a, a mom and her two daughters mm-hmm. who were not particularly nice people. So I'll never forget it. The daughter says to my mom, "Snooze, you lose." <laughs> I said, "Oh yeah." I was twelve, thirteen. Oh no. I waited for them to go into the store. I came out of the store. I took a pebble. No. Yes, I did. I took a pebble, unscrewed the front fucking car seat, the front, uh, the little thing on the tire, put the pebble in there, and just let that shit. You're s- <laughs> psycho. To completion. I thought you were gonna like keep their car. You lose. Damn. Flatten that bitch's tire. Fuck you. I was a fucking asshole when I was a kid, yo. Especially when it came to my mom. Like, if anyone's gonna yell at my mom, it's gonna be me. I, I, I told you. I told you when I like. I, I think we've had the conversation on the show before. Where like, if someone like hit your mom in front of you, what would you do? Oh like my if, god! If some woman hit your mom, I'd beat the fucking dog shit out of her. <laughs> I tried to jokingly bring this up to my dad once. I was like, "What would you do if like, uh, you know?" A woman like hit mom. Yeah, he would kill her. He was like, he changed his tone because like, it was a funny conversation. Then he literally was like, "No, listen, Joe, I'm gonna tell you right now." I was like, "Oh, fuck. yeah, right." <laughs> it's getting serious. He's like, "If anyone touches your mother and you're there, you have my permission to murder them." Yeah, dude, you have to. <laughs> yeah, if I wild. was ever in a store, and, like, I'm, t- I'm, I honestly, I dread the day that I have to like me too be in that situation because I really don't know how to react. Cause like I love my mom, and it's just it, it's just also not... also there's a there's a there's certain strengths, there's grown man strength and there's like defend honor strength <laughs> that you don't even know you have, and when yeah. you have to use defend honor strength, you're a fucking murder weapon. It gets to that level. Like you see red, like you don't remember yeah. what you did. I think if someone like hurt my mom, and they had an AK four to seven. Pointed at me, oh, I would just walk towards it. Yeah, them you wouldn't be afraid of and it. And just rip up the bullets off. My, the yes. bullets would just be ripping me up, and I'd be like, I'm going to kill you. Yes. <laughs> it would be like Luke Cage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like taking like everything. the Terminator. Oh, so the other story I was going to tell you is my cousin, uh, uh, Daniel, uh, one time, he was working with a moving company, and they were going somewhere to a job. So you would have to dro- drive to the job site, get in the truck, pack up, and then leave. Right. So he's driving with one of these guys. That also is on the job. And they're in this particular busy part of Westchester that's like kind of congested a lot. So like they're going, they're going, and they get into it with another guy. Like, yo, fuck you. Like, no, man, fuck you. And they're in a convertible. My, my cousin drove a convertible Saab at this time. <laughs> he 
He's like, yeah, fuck you, man. Yo, fuck you. So this guy that he said, fuck you, just takes his oatmeal and throws it and hits Daniel in the head. <laughs> Daniel had to drive all the way to work with fucking oatmeal dripping down his fucking <laughs> face and into his clothes. Rule number one, if you're going to yell at people on the street, don't have a convertible. Don't have a convertible. <laughs> Hit them right in the head, apparently. Oatmeal must yeah. m- will come flying. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah. Anyway, I think we need to, to wrap this up here, folks. Uh, we have a meeting. Yeah, we have a meeting that we have to set up. Oh, before we wrap this up, are those dolphins or sharks? Sharks. Sharks. Okay. A lot of animal talk today. A lot of animal talk. A lot of animal talk. Yeah. Oh, the one last question that I wanted to, t- to ask you. If it meant, I don't know why I made that clear. My throat's been all fucked up. I'm a little scratchy. Um, to, if we talked a lot about space in the last two episodes, but one question that I wanted to ask, and we didn't, I didn't ask you before, if you could be the first person on Mars, go down in history as the first person to live on Mars. But the thing is, you have to stay there for the rest of your life. Would you do it? Absolutely not. You think? You think I give a shit about history? I, I, I don't. But yo, but you would be taught like forever. Like you'd be like unforgettable, obviously. Don't care. I don't care either. I'm not even gonna know. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Who would do who cares? Imagine just like me being here, like, yo, like, welcome back to the basement yard. Joe's on Mars. <laughs> like, everyone everyone like would be like, yo, that's crazy for like a month, and they'd be like, Alright. Life goes on. Yeah. You know what they should do? Like, people that are serving life in prison, they should make them go to space. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Let them be like... Explorers? Like, yeah. Let the, them... These people commit crimes. <laughs> you want them to fly into space with billions <laughs> of dollars of equipment and explore the universe for us? Let's hope Danny never makes any executive decision in his life. <laughs> Because that is the worst fucking idea I've yo, ever man, heard. Yo, I got Mars rocks. I got Mars rocks. We be fucking selling shit yeah, up there and all selling that. Selling pieces of the space station and shit. It's like, yo, I got an oxygen tube. Uh, it's from NASA. 500K. Yo, 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 listen. I got a quad. I sold a whole rocket. Half price. One billion dollars. <laughs> yo, I got half of a spaceship fully furnished. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like 60, 65 bones. You want people that like, fucking can't pull off an armed robbery to go yeah, up there yeah, and, yeah. And, and pull off like, <laughs> go find the water on Mars. <laughs> Is there any water there? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm taking a nap. <laughs> Chill out. Open my cot. <laughs> Let me out. Yo, why am I floating and shit? <laughs> yeah, but people in the comments say if you would go to Mars or not if it meant you can't come back yeah all the ones that say yes I'm blocking you so. yeah 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 that's that too <laughs> send them to Mars what a maniac um <clears throat> anyway shout out to uh the Stank Podcast Danny for show watched for show a couple weeks ago got some episodes out right now um we're number one okay hmm? we were number one TV and film alright okay yeah, the stank went number one on TV and film uh, charts on iTunes, which is awesome. So thank you guys for the support for that. We went number one. Santa Gata Studios. We're starting to network. We have a team. We oh, got three it, shows right now. It's, it's a team. It's we. It's we now. It's a team. All right. We got the Basin Yard. We got other people's lives, and we got uh, the stank. So we want everyone from all the shows to kind of support all of them. We want to grow all of them at the same time, and just create something really cool. Number so one. So you guys go check those out. If you don't know other people's lives, it's a show where me and my buddy Greg. We anonymously call people and they have like these wild things that they do and you learn a lot about people because the whole idea is like you walk past people every day and they're strangers, you don't know their story and now they could have like a really cool one. So these are the cool ones. Yes. And then the stank that Danny does now with Frankie, they do movie reviews, TV shows. All your nerdy needs. All your nerdy needs. You know what I'm saying? And dirty deeds. And dirty deeds. Filthy deeds. Filthy deeds. Thank um, you. So definitely go support that as well. Thank you. And yeah, Danny, where can they find you? At Danny Low Priori on Instagram and Twitter and at the Stank Podcast. Yep. And you guys can uh, follow this show at The Basement Yard on Instagram. There's a bunch of clips and whatnot on there. So go check that out. And that is all. See you guys next time. We're going to Mars. <laughs>